I love Bridgerton, but since its very first season, the period drama has kept up one specific trend that I absolutely hate. Since 2020, Bridgerton has entertained me with its gorgeous costumes, talented actors, and immense drama. Every season, I am more excited to see what Netflix and Shondaland have cooked up. Watching my favorite characters get their moment in the spotlight and fall in love is incredibly satisfying. However, Bridgerton doesn't always hit the mark. In fact, the series has one problem that I believe is its biggest weakness of all. Bridgerton's writers are romance experts, but they can never seem to give their Bridgerton couples good stories once their season is over. Take Daphne, for example. The eldest Bridgerton daughter faded into the background of Bridgerton season 2. She sometimes appeared to provide wise sisterly advice, but beyond that, she lacked a strong storyline. A similar issue occurred in season 3 with Anthony and Kate. Though the two hid big relationship milestones, they were away on their honeymoon or in India for the majority of the season. Luckily, I think Bridgerton Season 4 has a chance to finally make a change. Bridgerton Season 4 will not sideline the main characters of Season 3. How Penelope will stay relevant. Although Bridgerton has a history of casting off its main characters once their season is through, it seems to me that Bridgerton Season 4 will finally turn the tide. The storyline set up at the end of Bridgerton Season 3 hint that certain characters cannot be shoved into the background. For one, Penelope must stay relevant beyond Season 3 because of her role as Lady Whistledown. In Bridgerton Season 3's final episode, Penelope pledges to use Lady Whistledown in a more positive way. I have to assume this promise will be made true in future Bridgerton seasons. How Francesca will stay relevant. Another Bridgerton Season 3 character that I want to stay in the spotlight is Francesca. This season, Francesca proved herself to be one of the most interesting Bridgerton family members, and honestly, I need more of her. Fortunately, the end of season 3 gave her a huge upcoming plot line. Next season, Francesca will go to Scotland alongside John, Michaela, and Eloise. Presumably, this will set off her romantic plot as written in Julia Quinn's book, When He Was Wicked. However, whether season 4 is Francesca's season or not, I am desperate to see Francesca continue playing a significant role. Eloise's move to Scotland ensures Francesca can't be pushed out. Two Bridgertons are more important than one. Simone Ashley as Kate Bridgerton and Claudia Jessie as Eloise Bridgerton in Bridgerton Season 3, Episode 5. There is another reason why I believe Francesca can't be sidelined in Bridgerton Season 4. By having Eloise go to Scotland as well, Francesca gets to remain in the Bridgerton loop. If Francesca simply went to Scotland with John and Michaela, the show easily could have lost sight of her, just as it did when she was staying with the Bridgerton's aunt in Season 1. However, with two Bridgertons in Scotland, there is a much higher chance that the show will follow their plotline more closely. Francesca's move to Scotland makes her story more interesting and important.